Hi, it's Katrina. From spiders that do cartwheels to some of the deadliest on Earth, here are 10 of the most bizarre and venomous spiders in the world. Number 10. Flick Flack Spider The Flick Flack Spider is highly entertaining. Like a gymnast, it flips and twists to move quickly along the desert sands. Discovered in 2009 by scientist Ingo Reckenberg, after whom the species is named, Sabrenus Reckenbergi, and officially described in 2014, the Flick Flack Spider is best known for its ability to cartwheel or somersault away from predators. It catapults itself forward at a distance of up to 6.5 feet per second while in cartwheel mode, traveling twice as fast as it does at normal walking speed. Even more impressively, the species can efficiently somersault uphill. This spider is endemic to the Erg Chebi Desert in southeastern Morocco, near the Algerian border. After stumbling upon the strange creature, Reckenberg took a specimen to Germany, where arachnologist Peter Jager concluded that it was a previously unidentified species. In a statement regarding the discovery, Jager explained that the spider's unique way of moving around is the main characteristic that differentiates it from a very similar-looking but much slower-moving Tunisian species, Sabrenus velosus. The nocturnal creature burrows tube-like towers in the sand which are held together by silk threads. Dr. Reckenberg was so inspired by this spider that he created a spider robot modeled after the Flick Flack called Tabit. It can walk and somersault, helping it to cross rough terrain, so it might be a useful style of locomotion for robots used to explore the bottom of the sea, or even Mars. Number 9. Sydney Funnel Web Spider Out of the 40 known funnel web spider species, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider is known as the deadliest because it is involved in the most human fatalities. Native to urban areas and forests in eastern Australia, the creature doesn't hesitate to bear its powerful fangs, which are capable of penetrating nails and shoes. It also eagerly makes other aggressive displays the moment it feels threatened, including rearing back on its hind legs. While Sydney funnel web spiders rarely target humans for any other reason than feeling challenged or cornered, they are often found in close proximity to people. Males will sometimes wander around looking for a mate and fall into swimming pools, where they can survive for a really long time. They will also wander into people's gardens and homes, getting trapped until someone finds them. Surprise! These creatures do not chase after humans, but they will respond to one when confronted, even if the encounter is unintentional or maybe with good intentions like trying to trap it to take it outside. It doesn't know the difference. The Sydney funnel web spider's bite can be fatal. In fact, its venom is more potent to humans than that of any other spider species, including other funnel web spiders, and can kill a human in about 15 minutes. Thankfully, not all bites are venomous to begin with, and an anti-venom was developed in 1981, followed by a concerted effort to improve first aid techniques. A bite should be treated as venomous just in case, and you should put pressure on the bite and try not to move too much, just like with a snake bite. Usually, these spiders like to hide under rocks and logs where they can stay cool and damp. They will create a burrow with a silk entrance so they can feel the vibrations of their prey and then dart out and grab it. They can be pretty large, too. One, affectionately called Big Boy at the Australian Reptile Park, reached 10 centimeters long. Number 8. The Mostly Vegetarian Spider Bagheera kiplingi is a jumping spider species that lives in Latin America. Its name was clearly inspired by the Jungle Book. Its distinguishing characteristic, out of roughly 40,000 known spider species, is its mostly vegetarian diet. While it resembles other jumping spiders when it comes to its large eyes and its leaping ability, B. kiplingi is not a predator, making it incredibly unique not only among jumping spiders but among spiders in general. Most spiders are carnivores who avoid vegetation and typically only eat foliage unintentionally, according to National Geographic. To find a species that prefers an herbivorous diet is nothing short of remarkable. B. kiplingi acquires food by taking advantage of an unlikely partnership between ants and acacia trees. Ants act as bodyguards for the trees, which in turn provide the insects with shelter in the form of hollow thorns, as well as nutrition via nodules that sprout from the leaves called belchian bodies. The spider snatches up these nutrients, taking the ants' food away, and chows down on the mostly vegetarian feast. Researcher Christopher Meehan spent seven years observing bee kiplingi, which he noticed is almost always found on acacia trees with an ant population 
since non-infested trees do not grow Belgian bodies. These nodules comprise roughly 90% of the spider's diet in Mexico and around 60% of its diet in Costa Rica. Once in a great, great while, a spider will snack on ant larvae, flies, or members of its species. Generally speaking, however, the creature opts for a plant-based diet. In addition to trying to understand why the spider prefers vegetarian cuisine, scientists remain struck with one major mystery. How B. Kiblingi digests the highly fibrous Belgian bodies it loves so much, which most spiders are incapable of digesting. And now for a famous one. But first, let me know which spider is your favorite in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Black Widow Spider The term Black Widow includes several species who share a major common trait, extremely toxic venom. Black Widow spiders come from the Latrodectus genus, which encompasses Black Widows, Brown Widows, and other similar species. Found in temperate regions worldwide, these nocturnal half-inch-long creatures are easily identified by their bright hourglass-shaped marking on their abdomen. With a bite up to 15 times more powerful than that of a rattlesnake, these spiders are capable of inflicting victims with venom that attacks the nervous system, causing symptoms such as severe pain, muscle aches, nausea, vomiting, and diaphragm paralysis, which makes it difficult to breathe, according to National Geographic. Children along with the elderly and infirm are at the highest risk of dying from a black widow bite. Most victims survive, suffering little damage, so that's good news. Black widow spiders are not aggressive by nature. They're defensive, meaning that they will respond to a perceived threat by biting. Unfortunately, humans are sometimes bitten after accidentally sitting on or otherwise unintentionally crossing paths with a black widow. Given the potency of the black widow's venom, it's not surprising that WebMD and other medical websites advise seeking medical attention for bites and rushing children and other especially vulnerable victims to the emergency room. Number 6. Scorpion-Tailed Spider Endemic to Australia, the scorpion-tailed spider is a small orb weaver measuring just 0.63 inches long, meaning you might have to gain an up-close look to notice what's unique about the species. Adult females have a long, thin, scorpion-like appendage attached to the tip of their abdomen. This bendable tail comes in handy, with its ability to arch over the specimen's backside, disguising her as an angry scorpion and keeping wary potential predators at bay. And it lengthens with each molt. Males who measure just 0.08 inches or 2 millimeters long and juveniles lack this distinctive feature, but they're no less harmless than the females who are equipped with a unique appendage. In fact, the tail is essentially an optical illusion meant to intimidate by looks alone. It's harmless to humans and cannot sting, period. Besides its falsely frightening appearance, the female's tail serves as useful camouflage, effectively making the creature look like a dead leaf caught in a web. Number 5. Brown Recluse Found primarily throughout the southern and central United States, the brown recluse is considered one of the most venomous spiders in the country, and it's also the most common brown spider species. It's possible, but extremely unlikely, to encounter a brown recluse outside its typical range, which consists of most of the southeastern and central United States. Brown recluse spiders are identified by a violin-shaped marking on the top of their head and thorax, with older specimens bearing darker markings. But the best way to determine if a spider is a brown recluse is to examine its six eyes, making it unique compared to most other spiders who have eight eyes. Might be a little difficult though, I think you have to get kind of close to count its eyes, so I don't think that this is the best advice. The species also has a velvety, uniformly brown abdomen. When in doubt, don't touch it. Measuring just 3 eighths of an inch long and 3 sixteenths of an inch wide, a brown recluse might be difficult to spot in the first place, but if you encounter one, you'll know it. Because the spider's bite is venomous, the National Institutes of Health recommend seeking emergency treatment right away. While the species typically only attacks when threatened, it's relatively easy for a person to unintentionally disturb a spider, especially one that makes its way into your clothing or bedding. Bite reactions vary, with the vast majority of victims healing without any scarring and without needing medical attention. Others sometimes suffer from a volcano lesion, where the damaged tissue becomes necrotic or gangrenous, leaving an open wound that can grow as large as someone's hand. When it comes to serious bites, recovery can take eight weeks or longer. Number 4. Fishing Spiders Whether you call them fishing spiders, raft spiders, dock spiders, or wharf spiders, 
chances are you've encountered them near the water if you live along the east coast of the United States. Outside of North America, these creatures can be found in Europe, Australia, and New Zealand as well. There are over 100 fishing spider species belonging to the Dolomitis genus. Nearly all of them are semi-aquatic, and eight are common in the United States. They are larger than many of the tiny spiders we're used to encountering in our everyday lives, and they feast primarily on tadpoles, small insects, and other invertebrates, with some species even targeting small fish. The most fascinating characteristic of fishing spiders is their ability to walk on water. Fishing spiders hunt by remaining patiently at the water's edge until they detect the ripple of prospective prey, at which point they will run across the water and inject their venom into the target. In addition to the fishing spider's impressive walking on water talents, these creatures can also climb efficiently underwater, often diving up to seven inches below the surface to catch their prey. Both capabilities are possible thanks to the creature's hydrophobic or unwettable short, velvety hairs. As fierce as these opportunistic feeders seem, they are far from invincible. Fishing spiders are most often preyed upon by birds and snakes, and young spiders sometimes even fall victims to dragonflies, who are very voracious hunters. Number 3. Brazilian Wandering Spider Also called armed spiders or banana spiders, Brazilian wandering spiders belong to the genus Phonutria, which translates to murderous in Greek. The name accurately reflects the spider's status as one of the most venomous on Earth, with a bite that can be deadly to humans, especially children. In fact, the Brazilian wandering spider was even featured in the Guinness Book of World Records over several years, claiming the official title of the world's deadliest spider. These bragging rights might be misleading, however, since the creature's lethality depends largely on the amount of venom it injects into its victim. There are eight Brazilian wandering spider species altogether, all of which are found in Brazil, and several which exist in other parts of Latin America. A 2014 article by entomology researcher Richard S. Vetter asserted that the Brazilian wandering spider had made its way into North America and Europe via banana shipments, although in many cases, the infesting offender in question was a similar-looking, yet harmless, misidentified species. Brazilian wandering spiders are quick to act defensive, giving them an inaccurate reputation as inherently aggressive creatures. When threatened, a specimen will assume a defensive posture, including raising its front legs into the air. This position serves as a warning to get away from the spider while you still can. The spider's venom attacks the neuromuscular system, causing initial symptoms such as severe burning pain at the bite site, sweating, and goosebumps. Side effects worsen over the next half hour, graduating to high or low blood pressure, an elevated or decreased heart rate, nausea, hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, convulsions, and more. Bites are rare, however, and envenomations are typically mild, according to researcher Richard S. Better. To date, there are only 10 recorded cases of a human dying from a wandering spider bite in Brazil. Number 2. Spitting Spiders Spitting spiders exist all over the world, with specimens in northern Europe usually being found in houses, with those in southern Europe often turning up underneath stones outside of people's homes. Spitting spiders capture prey by firing venom-drenched silk at their target, shooting from the animal's fangs in a zigzag pattern at a top speed of 62 miles per hour. The twin streams of silk are not only poisonous, but are also covered in a natural, extremely sticky glue. Prey essentially become helpless once they're hit, with the glue-covered fibers shrinking and trapping them in their place. The spider's next step is to administer a venomous, lethal bite to its unfortunate victim, finally putting the creature out of its misery after ample suffering. There are over 250 species of spitting spider, with the most widely distributed species being Cytodes thoracica, a commonly encountered nocturnal spider that prefers warm temperatures. This small creature measures just 0.12 to 0.24 inches, and unlike most spider species, has six eyes rather than eight, but you can probably identify them from their spitting behavior. Number 1. Cyclocosmia First described in 1871 by Austrian naturalist Anton Asserer, Cyclocosmia is a genus of trapdoor spiders consisting of four species, which are known for having a distinctive, truncated, disc-shaped abdomen. They are also known as the Chinese hourglass spider. To some, the abdomen looks like a coin, a seal, or maybe even an Oreo cookie. 
What do you think it looks like? Let us know in the comments below. This unique body part is an evolutionary feature that helps the spider evade predators by entering its burrow head first, causing the abdominal disc to fit seamlessly with the walls of its home, creating a false, impenetrable trap door. The spider camouflages its trapdoor, enabling it to jump out and conveniently snatch prey. The trapdoor spider's camouflage is so effective, researchers have a difficult time spotting it in the wild, perhaps explaining why the scientific community knows so little about it. Either way, Cyclocosmia species are considered among the world's rarest and most ancient spiders. A lot of people seem to think that they are venomous to humans, but that is definitely not the case. Trapdoor spiders take quite a while to reach sexual maturity, but they also live remarkably long lives. In April 2018, the world's longest-lived spider, a female trapdoor spider known simply as Number 16, passed away in Australia at age 43. She spent her entire life inside her burrow, which she never left once, especially as she matured and grew older, making the prospect of relocation more difficult. The creature's longevity, coupled with its frugal use of resources, are a topic of fascination among scientists, who believe humans may stand to gain a lesson or two about sustainable living from trapdoor spiders. Thanks for watching! Which spider was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Bye!